O holy people, I thought I'd share a little reflection with you today from uh, your sanctuary, our sanctuary. I arrived uh, safely in River Falls this uh, morning after traveling from Oregon uh, for the last couple of days. I was thankful for a uh, clear mind and no sleepies um, and made the trip much uh, faster than I expected. Um, today I'm here at the church just unpacking my office and um, doing some of those things. Of course, I don't have all my stuff. I just have a few things that I brought along with me in the car. And uh, I'm going actually soon to look at a house. Um, we're trying hard to find a place uh, for our family to live um, here in River Falls. Yesterday was the 22nd anniversary of my ordination. And it's a day to celebrate and remember. Uh, and it's a day um, that uh, I think of um, quite often. Not that I remember all the details, um, but um, I remember the people that I was ordained with. And I remember um, the family coming to see that and who else had been invited to be there and be part of that day with me. And um, being a pastor means a lot to me. Um, I am excited. I've said that I don't know how many times. Now, I will also tell you I'm half Norwegian, so excited doesn't, never gets too far over the top. But um, I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to get started, and I'm excited to share in ministry with all of you. And I'll be looking for my place, my place uh, to hike to, my place to clear my head, uh, where I probably will bring more reflections to you uh, in the weeks to come. But for today, I thought I'd sit here in a familiar place for all of you and uh, just share some of my uh, initial thoughts with you. I'm thankful for your prayers. I know you've been praying for our safe, uh, my safe drive across the country. I know you are praying for housing to come about. I believe all of those things are going to happen when it's right. We're going to find the right house. Um, it's just um, a lot of things are up in the air. So that makes uh, everything a little bit harder. Um, but I plan to uh, be here for worship on Sunday. Uh, I have no specific role other than to worship with you all. Um, but I'm looking forward to learning more names and seeing more faces and uh, getting this process of getting to know one another going. So I look forward to that uh, in the days in the days to come. One of the things that um, I'm going to talk about uh, in some different ways in the weeks to come is that um, often what happens is new pastor arrives and everybody exhales. Um, everybody's been working hard. It's been a long time. It's been a long interim. And um, so everybody kind of exhales. Uh, but I want you to not exhale too quickly because as we get to know one another, there are going to be things that we're going to need to do. There's going to be um, changes that get made, in, some intentionally and some unintentionally, uh, just because I'm a different person. I'm not like uh, your other pastors you've had. I'm my own person. Uh, with my own uh, with my own ways of doing things. Um, so we'll get used to one another. Um, but I want you to also realize that it's it's a process and it takes time. And um, we're not in a rush to get back into what's quote unquote normal. What we are instead is we're interested in listening for the Holy Spirit. We're listening for the soul of Ezekiel. We're listening for how God is calling us uh, to be at this time and what God is calling us to be at this time. So we have to, we have to live with that um, for a little bit longer. We have to hold our breath for a little bit longer so that uh, we can be ready to move um, as the Spirit calls us to move. But I want you to know if you feel those things inside, if you're like, oh, I'm not so sure about this new pastor. You know, I don't know what to think yet. Hold on to that. Um, it's okay. It's okay. 
um, as we get to know one another. It's okay as we uh, start this process that there's, there's a getting to know each other time and you gotta get used to my style and I gotta get used to your style and um, that takes its own time and it, it will come together when the time is right. So I want you to know that um, I'm thinking about that, uh, I'm aware of that and I recognize um, that this is a big transition for both of us. Uh, for all of us. And so um, I just pray that God, of course, is with us in that transition and that God leads us where God would like us to go. There's a prayer. Uh, I shared this prayer at the end of the first meeting with the call committee, um, but it's a prayer that I think um, we, especially as people who like things settled, um, it's a prayer that uh, we need to hear often. And so pray with me. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but knowing that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God's peace to you today.